This is going to be a quick workflow on how to use Civil View to uh, set up some cars for animation inside of InfoWorks. So what I'm going to do to start with, I'm just going to go to uh, one of my previous files so I can retrieve a spline which represents the road that the cars are going to follow. So we're just going to let it load up. Um, sometimes Max does this, it shows it's not responding, it's probably because I've got too many things running in the background but um, it just needs a few seconds to bring that up. Um, and at the moment, what I've got on the screen here is the results that I'm trying to get to. So this is the uh, animated cars. If I just zoom out a little bit. These are the animated cars inside of Civil View, which I can export out as a DAE file to uh, InfoX. So I'm going to uh, just start from scratch with the spline. So um, I'm going to select all and then use the Alt to bring up the negative button here and just deselect the spline. And this is just the, a basic spline. Um, you can bring it in from a shape file, or you can go here to max and actually just draw a line from point A to point B, and you can do curves and all that sort of stuff. And then click on the node there just to close it, and that's how you create a spline. So as simple as that, um, this one is sort of set up to the traffic simulation that I want to do. So uh, with that set up with your spline, just go to Start Civil View and it's going to initialize this. Um, this is part of the suite, so when you get 3ds Max, you get access to Civil View, and what it's going to do is it's going to fire up um, the tools that allow you to start initializing some Civil View for your preferred workflows. So Civil View here, I'll go down to Civil View, you'll see this geometry import where you can bring in data direct from Civil 3D, um, other stuff like 12D, traffic import as well. The one we're looking at today is just going to be Civil View and I'm going to use the first one here which is the Object Placement Style Editor, OPS. So uh, in the Object Placement Style Editor, very simple tools, you've got the parent shape, so I'm just going to click um, that spline, that's just the line that we create, and that can be from something else if you want to. Um, we've got our longitudinal placement, lateral placement. Um, the next thing I'm going to do here is just go new element. Um, what I want to do is just have a series of random cars following the spline at say uh, 50 kilometers an hour. So um, just here you see there's a database of uh, cars and uh, emergency vehicles, and trucks and stuff that you can choose from. I'm just going to have the cars, but you can go beyond this and use furniture, trees and plants, signs, speed cameras, all of that stuff. You can um, really configure and do a lot with this uh, add-in. So what I want to do next is just give it the speed. So uh, working here in this region of the world, we do kilometers per hour. Um, and uh, I'm going to have uh, multiple random stations and maybe for speed I'm just going to go do, do 10 cars um, that's just following the length of the spline there that's the 938 meters and then um, the last thing I'm going to do here because I just don't want all Audi A3s I want to have um, random objects so I'm just going to take that and that's all you really need to know. You can go a little bit more detail with the horizontal vertical offsets and percentages and stuff but for, for what I'm doing now I'm just going to do the basics so hit apply and this is now going to process um, the OPS, the Object Placement Style Editor elements that were created. And you can see here um, we have our cars. We've got a Chrysler, and uh, over here we've got like a little mini. So that's done, um, and you can close it out, and it'll ask you whether you want to save it. Um, I'm not going to, but you can save these out for use in other projects. So uh, close it out, don't worry about saving it. So now um, what you're doing, if you're starting Max from scratch, um, down the bottom here you've got this little uh, timeline slider. If I drag that across, you see the cars move. What it will do, um, if this hasn't been done before, is it will start to configure the length of the line versus the speed of the cars, and then it will adjust the time frame to edit it to suit. Um, you don't need to worry about this uh, for now. It will automatically do it um, should you want to get more into this. Down the bottom right hand corner here you got this little property clock thing. This is the time configuration and you can go in to uh, rescale the time and uh, configure that for say um, the default 25 frames per second. But there's all these other settings you can use as well. Um, if you haven't done animation before just, just go with the defaults. Um, they're pretty good. So uh, now when I hit uh, play, got this little play track here, um, these cars will now be driving around that track um, at 50 kilometers per hour. 
um, probably a little bit faster when you get to the corner this is like a six meter radius here <laughs> um, but it corners like its own rails so uh, the next thing to note here is by default this package actually uh, does the texture mapping with um, arch and design materials so um, what we have here uh, by default if I just go and select that one there you'll see it's all arch and design whereas previous for the cars I want standard and the reason for this is because uh, the standard materials read better inside of Infoworks. So I'm just going to zoom into that car here and you can see um, you know in real time it's actually looking quite good you can see the reflection within the lights etc. Um, I want to um, convert this though fully to a standardized design uh, texture so what we can do is we can go into scripting and this is just a, a quick script that um, I was able to get uh, from a colleague um, if anyone wants to know where to get it from I can I can share it um, so I go to my uh, files here my AU data um, and this is the script here material convert it's like four kilobytes in size you run that and hey presto it's converted all those arch and design materials to standard materials uh, and I think that should have done, if I, if I just go and check it on this one, yep, every single uh, car model here has been um, developed for uh, standard design. So now we have our animated cars, we have the correct materials, all we need to do now is just go to export, and uh, I'm going to just do uh, export selected as opposed to export all, because I don't want to take through the spline, so again hold down alt, uh, select the spline and we're just taking out the cars uh, so I go to export export selected and I want to use not the FBX file I want to use the DAE file um, Max is really good at doing auto saves um, my one's set to every five minutes um, so if you ever lose something that crashes uh, there is an auto save folder which it defaults to um, it saves it every five minutes so FBX will take through uh, geometry and, and lighting and textures but the uh, DAE file carries through some of the animation, uh, animation properties. So I'm just going to go to uh, my uh, particular folder I want to save this to, and this is going to be my AU videos, and this is analysis, and this one is going to be uh, civil view cars, and uh, I'll save that out. Um, just go with the default settings. You can look a bit more under the hood. Um, typically the um, Autodesk Media Entertainment is fine. Go OK and now that will write that uh, file out and simply go to your um, Infoworks application, go to data sources and um, bring it in and interact interactively place it in your model instead of Infoworks. Um, I'll do some videos on that shortly and um, then when you go to your visual effects settings click on the animation and your cars will be uh, running inside of Infoworks. Thanks.